Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. This is going to be one of the finale episodes. Yeah, we're close to finishing up the game. And I went to the wrong end. I went to the wrong end. I'm smart. Uh, so, we are going to be tackling Hyrule Castle the way I tackled it. For sense of convenience and sanity. So, with that being said, get ready to break the crap out of this game because I'm sure this heck not playing this correctly. Also, quick question. Oh yeah, good. Our master sword is fully upgraded. Or, fully upgraded. Fully restored, rather. And, ooh, you are a guardian. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. And you're, you want to see me. I don't want to see you. Look, uh, sir? 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 My mom said you're a bad influence and I can see why now. You are horrible and disgusting. Please leave me alone. Oh my god. Uh, sir? Leave. Please let live be, or whatever the phrase is. Oh god, I need to run, I need to run, I need to run. And... No! Oh, I, I messed up. I messed up big time. I'm flying away. Crap. Well, at least I'm at where I want to be. Not where I should be, but where I want to be at the very least. So now we get introduced to the Goron. Gor Goron. Oh my god. Castle Hyrule. Castle Hyrule. You know this. But with this, we have marked. Ganon's final days. All four beams of light and the sacred light that is over there being shunned. Shunned? Find. And the pond. Not really shunned because you needed to beat the game. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm I'm being this silly. So if this, let's go with the flow, go with the current. Also, pay attention close to the music here. For those who played old Zelda games, this is going to sound very familiar to you. Also, you are tempting me. You are tempting me heavily. Uh, what's your sign? I'm not really playing to use ever. Flint, all that. Right. We are also now have three hearts, I have realized. Oh, the air is on my way. Apples, so many apples, too many apples, I want them all, because they taste delicious. Ooh, got a diamond. Yeah, I'm about to say I know what you guys are. And I want none of you. Did you not hear me? Are you daft. Apparently you are. Oh, hello, Keith. Shock you out of the sky. Isn't that quite a shocking resolve? Turbulation resolve words. So, with more freaking keys. I seriously don't want to see you. Question, if I fall into water, the thunder brand sword thing. It doesn't electrocute. Not like I fell in the water to begin with. I'm just like, eh, might as well take notes of it now. Okay, I gotta stop playing dumb. Key swing. It's just a wing. Well, you make a horrible wingman then, don't you? So, with this now. We come over here. See bird eggs. Guardians that weren't excavated correctly. And a puzzle. What are you?
I must say, that, that seems like a very big puzzle. Okay, can't carry any more material, so that means... Uh, what does that mean? That means I should probably eat something. Get myself topped off from the road ahead. I mean, we got 26 cran- uh, shells. There we go. Oh, those count as meals. I'm reading that as materials. I am a brilliant man. What one would one suppose he suppose it's a man. But enough talk, how about you? Yep. Couldn't get through the left way without referencing that now, could I? Probably reference it beforehand. Ooh, an arrow. Nice. Uh, nothing besides corruption. A lot of corruption. A lockup. Okay. There's a chest in there. It's just how do we go about this? Maybe the shining bloody circle there, me. Yeah, I said we're going to take a new route, or we're taking an old route. This is a new. This is a new route for me, actually. I've never done this. Na, 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 na. Topaz crate. I don't need it, or really want it. To be fair. Okay, that's a key off. Scott, the dead death. Oh. going off. Thunderblade broke, so let's get fire. Blade. Gotcha. And that you are no more. And I got me a treasure chest. Interesting. Okay. Royal Halberg. Royal Blade. Thunder Greatsword. Ooh, that's actually pretty cool. I don't really want it to be fair. Dude, I never got this! Um, yes please. Yeah, I've never got the high issue. shield. I actually didn't know what it was. A shield passed down through the Hylian royal family, along with uh, the most legendary weapons. The hero wielded it in the... Uh, uh. So wait, does this shield never break? It, it sounds like it never breaks. I've never got that. I didn't even know that was a thing. Cool. I mean, I say I say it in the past, but like I think a let's play is just like a way to try something new, but not try something new. It's a little weird to explain, but I think some people get it. Ah. 
Ow. That was entirely my fault. That was my fault entirely. Oh my god, you took out a lot of damage. That's off this tail. It's a, that's a crappy ice rod. I don't. Yeah, I don't need you. You're mostly there just to, like, waste my time. Office? You are those office. Go. Do you have any treasures inside you? You do not harbor anything on wall. That's our treasure chest. So we're still not like near the surface at all then, aren't we? Okay, this is cryo. I hate you so very much right now. Stamina, that's fine. Okay, now we're above. Now we're in the actual castle itself, or at least the castle town, I would imagine. So, from here, we can start cheesing it. I'm not gonna start cheesing it here, out of all places, because we're still really low on the mountain, or the castle, rather. So, best not to really cheese something that I don't understand how to do fully. So, let's start climbing. Start having a little bit of a small abandon for what's right and what's wrong. Treasure, not treasures, but barrels. Barrels might have been useful though. That's not to put a blind eye to these. Also, break! Damn you, thank you. So these are towers, so let's climb. That's what we want. Give us a better advantage or idea where we are. Okay, the guardian right there. I don't want to miss a few. You can't move, correct? You're stationary? You're stationary, good. Okay. There's one too many guardians I'm not going to really deal with, so let's use our skill of uh, champion. And come up here. We come to this drop bridge. And we get a little cutscene. Yep, that's why I was doing this. This is why one of the major reasons I wanted to stop here. Stretching, sorry about that. to defend ourselves. What are you doing out here, Zelda? Oh, here's the old face we haven't seen since the beginning of the game. I... I was a 
discussing the results of the experiment with the Guardians. These pieces of ancient technology could be quite useful against... I know that. They are essential to Hyrule's future, and our research demands that we keep a close eye on them. However, as the princess, you currently have a crucial unfulfilled responsibility to your kingdom. Let me ask you once more, when will you stop treating this as some sort of childish game? I'm doing everything I can. Look, I'll have you know that I just recently returned from the Spring of Courage, where I offered every ounce of my prayers to the goddess. And now you are here, wasting your time. You need to be dedicating every moment you have to your training. You must be single-minded in unlocking the power that will seal Calamity Ganon away. I already am. You see, there's nothing more I can do. My hope, my hope is that you, that you will allow me to contribute here in whatever way I can. No more excuses, Zelda. Stop running away from your duty. As the king. I'm not gonna say the cartoon Zelda for those who probably watched the cartoon. I don't know. That, that thought train. just crossed my mind. Do you know how the gossip bungles refer to you? They are out there at this moment whispering amongst themselves that you are the heir to a throne of nothing nothing but failure it is woven into your destiny that you prove them wrong do you understand yes I understand I don't think anything is in her room, so we're not gonna have to, we're not gonna have to worry about that at all. The mock them down there, but we're gonna avoid him to the best of my abilities. There's a lot of corruption here, but once again, we have a bit of a shortcut, shall we? And with this, we are at Calamity Ganon himself. As soon as we walk through this uh, doorway, starts the final fight. I am going to save because I'm freaking terrified. I'm also going to double check that my gear is what I want it to be. I want to make sure I have the maximum defense going into this. 18. Anything else is around 5. We don't really need anything else for this. Yeah, we have the most defense. And with this, we are starting the final fight. to pull them off and destroy him. Ganon looks like in his true form of Calamity Ganon in this game. I believe this is the uh, largest Ganon's ever caught. And 
He's pretty freaking intimidating, I'm not gonna lie. Now my moment has finally but, because we saved all four of the Guardians, or Guardians, all, of the, all four Lion uh, Beast, we get this cutscene. Now granted, you can do it with just two of them, blah blah blah, it depends on you entirely. But since we've done all four, we are going to get the most out of it. We are going to have him take, I believe, half his HP down, leaving the half of it for us. I've seen people do it, oh, I haven't really seen it, but I've heard people doing it with no Divine Beast saved and like at three parts because speedruns and all that exist. And I say, holy crap, you guys are crazy. I'm not that crazy. I'll never do it. But with this now, four lasers, four divine judgments coming at the calamity itself. And one giant damn beam of rain and destruction and love. I love this thing. Uh, I'd say it's probably about half his HP. Yeah. So, he's weakened and already into his second phase. This does not mean Ganon is a pushover by any stretch. Ganon's terrifying and will hit you like a mad uh, beast slash thing. All we have is our Master Sword, Hylian Shield, and our Knife Bow. So, starting off the battle, I'm going to go straight on the offensive. I'm not going to really give him time to do anything. He will send down waves of energy and try to spike you. He will use every weapon in his arsenal to hurt you. The best thing I could ever say is wait for the opportunity to prevent to uh, show itself and then carry on with the best of a nailing you can give him. As for me, I'm not concerned about much right now. Also, ow. And this is also why I made so much food. It, the only reason I made so much food is to prep us for this fight. Normally, I wouldn't even consider making this much food. But since I knew Calamity Ganon was a hard fight, I came in prepared. So when he goes on a wall, you can shoot him, or in the case of us, use the Divine uh, Beast skill, send him right on the floor, you stun for a bit, and then proceed to smack him over and over again until he stops moving and we can have Hyrule back to ourselves. Charge up. And release. Oh crap, I thought he was going for the wall climb. Uh, let's use another one. Let's stay on top of our game, because I definitely don't want to KO- I don't want to get a game over to this thing. Ow. Knock him down. And now because his third phase. His third phase. Phase? His third. The third phase is where he goes crazy. He has a barrier. You cannot hurt him until he wants you to hurt him. And for the most part, I'm going to just uh, try to play cautiously. And when I mean cautiously, I mean get my bucket. Because I am not paying attention right now. Let's use another one. I, I know it's a waste, but might as well use it. Ow. I try to parry it. I know you can parry it. I've done it in my practice run. And thank god I have a lot of food to play around with. So when you parry him, he will be vulnerable for a longer extensive period of time. 
So take your advantage, take your shots, and then back off. I also gotta stop doing that. I know what to do, and I'm doing it all wrong. Oh, no, 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 you're, you're a big one. Got it again. So as you can tell, Calamity Ganon has a lot of health. Thankfully, the Highland Shield will take the brunt of it. It's just I kind of want to not have the Highland Shield take the brunt of it. Shoot. Thank you. Oh, God. Shoot. Well, that's working like a bag of farts. Uh, sure, let's use it again. Come on, shoot laser. Okay. I got it. The time is a little odd, but I think I have this for the most part. Just like every final fight in the Zelda series, it's never over at Phase 1. Why would you think it's over at Phase 1? With this, Clan again gets back up. Little injured, probably gonna break down in like 1, 2, 3, yeah about, about 2 seconds. He lets out a death cry, and slowly falls down to his, you know, crawling, I'm dead state. And gets up, cause corruption and other things. It looks so icky. I'm sorry. I know like people don't like using people don't like using words like that, but that, there's no way of describing it besides just icky. It, it's super icky. And with this. It dissipates and goes back up. And we got a horsey! We never got a horsey. I didn't go catch one by accident. I actually wanted to get, get one. Ganon was born out of a dark Yep. It's still not over! Say hello to Beast Ganon! Ganon's true form, if you guys know Zelda terms and whatnot. But yeah, this is the final form of Ganon. This is him in his pure state. A little different what he looked like from Ocarina of Time, huh? Just a little bit. Or like uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, or any other irritation. This is more similar to Breath of, uh, Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, actually. And it's kind of better than the Twilight Princess uh, Beast Ganon fight, even though I actually think that was one of my favorite parts of that. One of my favorite parts of that fight, actually. Oh, 
it is never forgotten. Alright. So, right off the bat, I am going to charge right for the bow of light. So, the, bo the, 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 the bow of light, switch to it. The strongest bow in the game. Dan's going to shoot lasers constantly, making sure you're trying to get away from them. But when he's done shooting the lasers, something incredibly awesome is going to happen to him. I'm going to stay on the side of him, because I believe it's on this side. Use the bow of light. Shoot both irritations of uh, the light where the symbols are. Three, three of them. Sorry, one. Okay. There, we hit all three of them. So that's what you gotta do for this final fight. This is actually really cool. It's kind of sad that it's just this, but I think the epic scale of this thing outweighs like how silly it is. So if Dark Beast Can wants to shoot another laser, it has to. Okay, it's going for it. Also, I do not like how the force controls sometimes. One, two, two, three. Okay. Force. If you shoot at Wily, it will do no damage. So do not think you can shoot Wily at uh, Dark Beast Ganon. Shoot out a laser, so let's just hold off on that. Go around him. Ever so slightly. Shoot his stomach area. Probably helps a lot closer to it. There. And this, we get to land the final strike on him. Paraglide up. I will. Wait for the opportunity. better opportunity than gain really up close personal with them. And with this, he is going to not do that. Yeah, I'm gonna start using stamina stuff, like I don't care. I'm literally only doing this to get stamina. Use his attacks to your advantage. Okay. Oh wow, that's not what I wanted to happen. And boom, right. What? That's supposed to be it. Use the up 
Okay, maybe not. I know what I'm doing. It's just nice. His eyes are staying open for long enough. That's what's supposed to happen. I just misread the situation entirely. I'm, I'm here sitting, I'm like, I, I know this is the final hit. But it's like, oh, wait, it's supposed to be like fully pulsing it out or something. I think that's also random when it does that, believe it or not. This the game is over. So we gotta watch the final cutscene and then call it an LP. Dan is slayed once again. About time, huh? Destroy game complete. I've been keeping watch over you all this time. I've witnessed your struggles to return to us, as well as your trials in battle. I always thought, no, I always believed that you would find a way to defeat Gamma. I never lost faith in you over these many years. Thank you, Lee. The hero of the family. Yep. May I ask, do you really remember me? I mean, we've kind of remembered you. So I think we've been more of cousin the credits, then I'll give you guys my opinion on the game. No, we get the credits now. So, this was a very interesting Let's Play for me, because this was one of the games I knew I went to Let's Play, I just didn't know how I went to Let's Play. It is definitely most charming Zelda games to come out for a long time. You know, on top of all the remakes. Like, I'm gonna not lie, this is a breath of fresh for the, uh, for the Zelda series. And it's definitely not a bad a breath, a breath, a breath of air, case in point, Breath of the Wild. Uh, but no, seriously, this is a remarkably great game. And like, even when you're playing on the, uh, on the Wii U, which I've been told, like, is a good version too. I'm personally playing on Switch because that's what I have on me. And, you know, I, I usually play the games I have on me. But it feels so fluent, it feels so nice, but in return, I feel like certain elements could have been changed up a bit better. I believe that the Thunderblade Ganon, I will always say that the Thunderblade Ganon is like the only thing I hate fighting in this entire damn game. I wish that wasn't really much more of a gamble than it was like a strategic fight. But the scenery is great, I love the shrines, I love how people can do this for a 3 hard challenge. The way they put every detail into the game shows off how much they wanted to really show off what the Switch slash Wii U was capable of. Now granted, I still love like Breath of the uh, Wild. 
I still love Twilight Princess. I still love Ocarina of Time. I still love all of those games. But I would say for time played and how much I really love the Zelda series, this is still below Ocarina of Time for me. Why is it still below Ocarina of Time? I just, I have nostalgia for Ocarina of Time and it's one of the games that got me into the Zelda series. So of course I'll hold it in very high regards. But I think as of late, I'm kind of leaning more on the Breath of the Wild side. I wouldn't say it's, it's rather like it's a 50-50. I still enjoy Ocarina of Time, I still enjoy um, Breath of the Wild a lot. And Twilight Princess is a close second. So if you guys ask me which one I like more, Ocarina of Time or Breath of the Wild, I'm probably going to say just both of them. It's not really... I have reasons to like both, and people have definitely voiced their opinions on both in, in the years and whatnot, not just exclusively talking to me. But we can never let go of the past, nor can we never look uh, forward to the future. Because I feel like the next Zelda game, and it's 2018, 18, uh, 2019 now, and a Zelda game hasn't been released for 2018, or one that was good, I guess. I don't really know if there's one released for 2018 at all. But I think the next Zelda game won't be as well received as this game. Yeah, people are going to say like, oh, but Zelda games are never well received. That's because we always condition ourselves to think it's going to be better than what it is. I would be a all right, a okay with uh, this Zelda game being another great one for history. But I feel like the next one is going to be even better. I can't say from experience because obviously it's not out yet, or we don't even know if it's going to be out anytime soon. But I believe that Zelda will always have a special place in my heart. Even though it changes, there's a lot of stuff that people don't like, there's a lot of stuff that people do like. And I believe a lot of that become, it came from Skyward Swords, or Skyward Sword. I like Skyward Swords enough, the stamina function was a little weird to get used to, but the overall game of that was nice, it was great. And I feel like if the new Zelda game doesn't come out anytime soon, I may actually let's play Skyward Sword. Why? Because it was the last new thing Zelda's done for a long time. But we're not here to talk about Skyward Sword, we're here to talk about this game. From the people I've watched and the people I've talked to, I've been told that this game is very mixed and very uh, opinionated. For me, I don't feel like I'm really opinionated on this one. I feel like it's just another Zelda game that, when it started out, seemed like it was trying to do too much, but no, they knew what they were doing. And I can't really talk about this outside of, um, well, I can't bring this up without bringing another thing up. That people said that this is basically going to be the Dark Souls of the Zelda games. You're not wrong. You are definitely not wrong, actually. This is definitely somewhat similar to Dark Souls. It's not as hard as Dark Souls, but it definitely gives you the free freedom of, like, oh, say Skyrim, but the challenge of Dark Souls. For the early game, when you get later into the game, you don't have to worry about stat building like you do in Dark Souls, but you do have to worry about which one you want more. Do you want more stamina or more hearts? The way I play is kind of a given. I'm more of a defensive and more hard, so I could have more room to play around with. But I've seen just many people, um, my friend Gargoyle on stream and on um, Discord and whatnot, Gargoyle64, he has uh, told me in the past that he focuses on stamina more than health. So it brings up a nice little topic among friends, and it kind of gets into a heated fight sometimes, but I feel like most topics do. But for right now, I think that this game is perfect for a Zelda game. I would definitely not say it's a perfect, perfect game. It's perfect for a Zelda game that was in a time frame of not really getting a lot of new things for it, but more remakes. Because the last game I played before this game was Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. Now, as much as I like Wind Waker, and it's a great game. All the Zelda games are great, it's just, I feel like Wind Waker was just kind of more of a carbon copy kind of thing, where it's like, okay, we don't really know what to do yet, so here's what's going to happen. I feel like that's what Wind Waker was. But in the case of this, I feel like they w knew what they were doing and did it right. Now, this is heavily opinionated, so you guys could yell at me or give me one for in streams and stuff or in, in uh, the comments. 
But these are my opinions, and I hope you guys enjoy it for... These are the opinions I'm probably going to stick with. As recording this Let's Play, I feel like it went really well. I actually didn't have that many hiccups. I've had a couple re mis uh, failed recordings, but it wasn't anything I couldn't salvage from. So as a Let's Play, I feel great, and I feel like I haven't really missed an upload for this. And as I said on Twitter and Discord and all of my social media that I post on, this was an excellent way to kick off the year. This shows that, you know, I kind of grew out of my, you know, timid, not so much timid, but more straight, linear sense of mindset. Because if you see me play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time or any of the other Legend of Zelda games, you guys kind of know I go for whatever is needed and I don't really go for the side stuff. This game had no clear direction on what side stuff was and what clear pathing was. So I feel like this was a good test and a good uh, way to kick in the year. And as I said, there's this is not the end of Breath of the Wild, but it's definitely not the beginning. It's around the midsection of this. So we've done a Divine Beast, we've done, uh, we've beat Ganon, Calamity Ganon, and we've uh, saved Hyrule, correct? That is not the entire case of this. There is still DLC. There is Champions, or there is Battle of the Champions, and then the Sword Trials. As I said, I have no clear plans of recording these right off the bat because I don't even I don't really even know how to do them. But I will ask Stream and other sources that may want me to do stuff like this. So I'll post this on Discord when this finale goes up, so to speak of. And I'll post on Twitter, so if you guys have me on Twitter or on Discord, you guys can know how to talk to me and you know what to say. But with this ending cutscene, I think we call it a let's play.